gonna go for a bike ride. And y'all give me crap about it being cold in California and it not actually being cold. Can you see that? It's 37 degrees, okay? Frost on my windows. It's freaking cold, man. Give me some hard man points, okay? Okay, it's pretty cold up here. That's why I'm wearing this flannel buttoned up to the top and I have this kind of makeshift grizzly patchy thing That could be mistaken for a beard in the right light. This week has been a grind working a ton almost at the end Also getting a chance to do a little bit more strength training, which is really fun um, Now that I'm not racing bikes. So been doing some kind of big burly lifting heavy stuff off the ground and pushing it up over my head the most fun ever. So yeah, I got to work from home quite a bit this week, which was pretty sweet. Uh, so I, those guys said they can, I, I already, I already paint, yeah, I already pinged them before I, I even started talking to them. And they confirmed that it can be live in the app by the 27th. Um, which let me also do some, uh, some kind of intervals during the day, which was super fun. <laughs> Really, the intervals were just for the sake of doing intervals because I love to work out. Uh, I'm not really working on any kind of periodized training plan right now. I guess you'd call it a break. And then with my company uh, Christmas party on Friday night. I'm heading to my company Christmas party tonight. The buffet will be all-star status, I'm sure, if not proper table side service. Really flexing that, uh, that tech bro status right now. Pretty stoked about putting on a tie, seeing how it clashes with this super patchy Attempted facial hair. Really enjoyed it. Got to see all my coworkers be a little bit more human, maybe. Maybe see them in a different kind of more friendly light. Maybe not care so much about the hustle of the job and just kind of say, hey, we're all goofy when we try and move our bodies in space to music. Yeah, then uh, Saturday morning, actually got up kind of early. Got to go riding with my buddy Doug that I uh, just met racing cyclocross. It's going down, 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 down. was pretty fun. It was really cold, like really cold. Ah, and now I'm warming up the house and just trying to get motivated to leave the house again and uh, go train in the city. It's like deceptive, it's, like beautiful out there, but it's so cold. Like why would, why? Let's go train some uh, Jiu Jitsu. I'm still sleeping my eyes, I'm a mess. God, let me talk into the camera anyway. Jiu-Jitsu was fun, and then uh, Sunday morning got up and did a three and a half hour uh, kind of base mile ride, but. All right, so I got pulled in some work this morning. I were compromising, like, explaining the way the feature works so that it's a short, punchy video, when it's like, the point isn't to make a short, punchy video, which helps me prolong 
going out into the cold. But I think it's about noon and it's pretty nice outside. So I'm gonna do a three hour-ish non-training ride. So just a stoke chaser. much this weekend so uh, you gotta get creative with how you stuff your jersey funny things about riding bikes in Berkeley is that no matter when you go out, somebody is gonna come find you and like stick on your wheel and want to race you. So you, you gotta take the bait, right? that it is my off season, that I've just finished racing bikes. Something that I keep thinking about, and this is, this is gonna be a bit of a protracted metaphor and I apologize for it now. Go with me, it's fun. The idea is that our lives are kind of centered around these interesting like peaks and valleys, these intervals of efforts and rests. And it works in a sort of a macro level and it works in a very micro level. So if you think about it in a micro level, right? You think about, oh, a single workout, right, has these intervals, these, these explosive efforts and then you recover, and these explosive efforts and then you recover. And really, like, you, the progress that you're making, the whole point of doing it, is so that you can rest in between each interval, so that each interval is equally as explosive. And you wanna have even efforts across each one of those intervals in order to have the total work output at the end of the workout, right? So you need those recovery periods. So it's a very like micro example of this. The Japanese have a concept called ma, this idea of negative space, and it's very popular in design. So uh, designers think more about what is not on the page or what is not the lines or colors or shapes, rather the space in between, and that is what helps define that element, that image. And so thinking about that in terms of training in my life, it's very similar in that like, I think like cyclocross is the, is the image on the page, right? And then the time that I'm not racing cyclocross is the negative space that helps define the space that I'm actually racing in. And it's very similar to like jujitsu, right? Like jujitsu is all about creating and removing space. It's about moving your hips out so that you can have a little bit of breathing room in order to execute an escape. Or if you're on top or trying to control, it's all about cinching in as much of that negative space as possible so that your opponent uh, can't escape. It's still working out. I just think it's interesting that the same concept of space or the lack of space shows up in so many of these parallels. I'm bringing it back, I promise. It's all gonna make sense really quick. So right now, I'm at this really cool, weird precipice of a rest interval in my life. I think the next couple of vlogs are gonna be super entertaining because I'm not super focused on racing, so you're gonna get to see other elements of my life. Uh, I'm traveling a bit, uh, so you'll be seeing some cool stuff from other places that I'm going next week. I'm bringing a bike with me, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, doing the Festive 500, which is pretty rad. Um, so yeah, tune in next week for some more cool stuff. As always, if you uh, enjoy this, like or subscribe or like scribe or sub like, that didn't really work. Also, um, there's a really cool video that uh, some of my friends made. Uh, they're very talented filmmakers about uh, a group of guys that I ride with, a, a cycling team that I'm on. I guess it's a club. It's a club? A group of guys. We all have the same kit and ride at the same time. I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, it's called Roll Call. Until next time, keep the rubber side down and take care of yourselves.
All right, fam, we're going to do some uh, Christmas shopping now. And uh, one trick that I learned as a frugal shopper many years ago is to make sure that I am very happy with the outfit that I'm wearing when I go shopping. Otherwise, I will buy everything to make me look cuter. But I'm looking okay right now. Let's go. 